I thought I'd try the Windows speech recognition to see whether it's um, better than it used to be. I'm going to compare it to Dragon Naturally Speaking. Things have come on since Windows 7. I did a video some time ago showing Windows 7 voice recognition. Pretty good at the time, I thought. Not quite as good as Dragon, as far as I was concerned. But maybe it's time to see whether the system, uh, operating system level software is any good. So let me just switch to my uh, tiles and then look for Windows speech recognition. There we go. Let's click on here and start training. So, I've got to train the voice, so we'll start. I'm using a headset mi microphone. I've got it positioned as the diagram showing here. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. Okay, the microphone's ready. So for improving the speech accuracy, it can look at existing documents on my uh, computer and analyze the t type of uh, word usage, word patterns, that kind of thing. I don't have any documents on this. I've only just set it up. If you've seen a uh, previous video, you'll know that I had a uh, an operating disk blow up and I've had to reinstall Windows. So this is pretty much a fresh installation. I don't have any documents for it to review. So I'm going to disable the document review now. Click Next. Now let's have a look. I don't know what the activation mode is, so let me just read this. I'll go for the manual activation mode now. I guess we can turn this on to voice activation later. Once I see how good it is, I can decide whether I want to use the voice activation. Voice activation just allows me to wake up the microphone by saying, start listening, as it says here. Speech reference card uh, would be good to print out. Let's have a look at that. So here's the reference card. I'm going to move that out of the way. Do I want this to run at startup? No, not for this, because I'm just testing it. So I can now use this straight away, but they suggest I use this uh, tutorial. I'm going to skip it because I'm just testing. Microphone's off. Cool. So let me launch uh, text editor. I guess all I have to do is click on the microphone icon and then start uh, dictating. So Microsoft is now listening to what I say, and it is transcribing my speech into written text. Full stop, new paragraph. Already I can see that there is a slight mistake in the previous dictated text, comma, but I have to say that I am pretty impressed already at just how well this seems to be working. Full stop, new paragraph. I am going to do some extensive testing on this because quite honestly, if it's as good as it appears to be so far, then it may be that there is very little justification for paying out hundreds on something like Dragon Naturally Speaking. Full stop, new paragraph. Stop listening. I just want to turn word wrap on so we can see this. Have a quick look. Let's have a look. A couple of little mistakes I can see. Okay, pretty good and I haven't done any training of any kind so, you know, I've got to say this is pretty good so far. Let me do uh, continue with this. So now what I am going to do is speak a little bit more slowly, comma, because I'm not quite sure how Microsoft speech recognition works. Full stop. It may require longer pauses between words, or it may just need a little longer processing time to understand what is being said. Full stop. New paragraph. The microphone headset that I am using is the Turtle Beach PX22. And you can see my review on that headset by clicking on the link shown in the video now. Full stop. New paragraph. One thing I haven't done, comma, but I will do now, comma, is check how to do voice correction. So I am going to pause the video, comma, read the help card and find out how to do that. Full stop. Stop listening. So it seems that the voice correction is fairly simple to do. So hopefully I will see a mistake in a moment and then I can correct it by voice. Correct them. Two. OK. Correct an. Correct icon. Cancel. Full stop. New paragraph. OK, comma. From that very simple test, I don't think the voice correction is quite as slick as you get with Dragon, but then this is included in the operating system, and so for many people it will be absolutely sufficient for everything they ever want to do. Full stop new paragraph. I am sure there is a great deal more that this software can do, so I am going to continue using it and getting used to it for a while, and I'll make some more videos that you can watch 
and then I'll upload them as soon as I can. Full stop, new paragraph, correct a man or put them, spell it, A S space T H E M, cancel, stop listening. Okay, maybe it needs a little bit of training, I think uh, that I can go and do some training separately, but pretty impressive out of the box, I have to say. Really quite surprised at just how good that was, and I do have things like antivirus going on in the background and some file downloading and other things, so really, to say this is free and included with the operating system, and I haven't done any real training of the, the voice recognition engine, it's really good, and I'll come back to you with extra videos as soon as I can to let you know just how good it is compared to Dragon. See you next time! But please do subscribe while you're here, and also why not give this video a thumbs up or share it socially, that would be great. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye!